Hi, my name is Sadie and today we're going to do a fun activity, pendulum painting. So first off, what is a pendulum? It's an object that hangs from a fixed point and swings back and forth because of gravity, that force that pulls everything to the center of Earth. So let's get started. For this setup, you'll need some supplies, paper towels, paint that is water-based, washable, plastic cups or styrofoam cups, something that you can poke a hole in the bottom of, giant paper clips, a hole punch, string, scissors, and of course you'll need paper to create the art on. I recommend laying out newspaper underneath if you're doing this activity inside. First set up your structure. I'm using two chairs with a broom across and laid down some newspapers and the paper I'm going to paint on over top of that. First use a hole punch to poke three holes equidistant around the cup. Make sure to poke a hole in the bottom of the cup as well where the paint will flow out. Cut three pieces of string that are equal in size and tie one string on each hole. Then tie all the strings together at the top of the cup. Tie a separate string to the broom. Bend the paper clip a little bit so the cup can hang from the paper clip. Take a paper clip and attach it to the string hanging from the broom. This is an easy temporary setup for the structure. You can also try creating your own structure from materials like wood or PVC pipe. You really just need something to hang the string from. To start out with, I'm going to cover the hole that we created in the bottom of the cup with my hand. That way the paint doesn't start flowing out immediately. If you're doing this as a family, you can have someone else pour the paint in. I'll go ahead and do that here. Once we have the paint ready to go, we're just going to hold it at an angle so we start that momentum and let it go. Gravity will do the rest. Sometimes we have to experiment with the consistency of the paint, so just have some water nearby if you need to add it. As you can see at first, the paint's a little drippy, so I might need to add some water here in that case. Again, something you can play around with. While you're watching the pendulum, you can ask some of these questions with your kids, like what pattern is the pendulum making or shape? What happens if we don't stop the pendulum? Will gravity stop it? What happens if you swing the pendulum more gently or forcefully at the beginning? You can play around with all these different factors and it's a great way to get curious about art and steam. So that was a really fun activity, right? We were able to explore the force of gravity and create some cool art along the way. To find more steam activities and similar experiments, you can check out items at your local library or explore the large collection of digital books we have on the app Libby with your library card. Thanks for joining today and continue to explore the way that forces impact our everyday in neat ways.